Jokic hates his job like a majority of the US population, yet casually goes about his business and executes with all-time great efficiency. That said, Kobe's famous American-minded love what you do quote has been extinguished right before our eyes. When you, when you find that thing that you love, then life makes sense. You have to figure out what it is that you really want to do. Like wake up in the morning and say, Yo, I'm excited to go do this. But when you find what it is that you love to do, then you wake up every morning with a sense of purpose. It's love. It's a pure love. It's not the fame. It's loving what we do, and we do it all the time. If you love what you do, and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. Yeah, that's the trick, isn't it? It's, it's finding what you love to do. I, I wake up in the morning excited to get to it. And if you have that feeling, then you are truly doing what God has put you on this earth to do. Meanwhile, nobody likes his uh, his job, or maybe they do. They're lying. I need to go home. If the job is done, we can go home now. What is one thing that has changed in your life since becoming a champion? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Viewing his multi-hundred million dollar paying job as a basketball player like a regular citizen working in a cubicle, Jokic's ability to casually execute under pressure has shattered traditional norms. If you assume this nonchalant, nose-to-the-grindstone aura made Nikola more relatable, that's where you'd be dead wrong. Fans reacting to a recent Jokic video about nothing in his life changing after his first title are triggered by his trolling. What skeptics don't value with Jokic is how he's gotten an entire NBA organization to buy into his leadership style as a main option, which aside from Dirk Nowitzki, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, is something not a single player from overseas before him was ever able to accomplish. Given his two should be three MVP trophies, endless records set in the 2023 playoffs, and now finals MVP, we're looking at the greatest European player of all time. He was the first player ever to record a 30, 20, and 10 game in an NBA finals matchup. He was the first player ever to lead the playoffs in points, rebounds, and assists. He broke the late Wilt Chamberlain's record for the most triple doubles in a playoff run. Accomplishments aside though, and the reason why I think it's so disappointing as to why the sports universe as a whole doesn't value what the Serbian brings to the table is the fact that his mentality proves that even if you don't always love what you do like Kobe did, it doesn't mean you're not meant to be in the position that you are. Valuing your time off and simply focusing in on the task at hand is the winning mindset displayed by Jokic that's unfortunately been denied from inspiring so many. I want to really look into how and why Jokic's message has gotten glossed over by most Americans. I think this comes down to the fact that he's not nearly as media friendly or engaged from a marketability standpoint as the last four finals MVPs in <laughs> Steph, Giannis, LeBron, or even someone as kawhi -it as Kawhi. Nikola's overseas scratch and claw for everything then reap the benefits mentality just isn't interpreted by fans in the same way as other superstars' less unorthodox personas in the US. The basketball gods, though, pulled out the Joker card in 2023, blessing a superstar who wasn't through and through obsessed with honing his craft 24-7 with a world title, a rarity amidst the deck. Speaking of world title, Jokic's laid-back persona shaking up the world was highlighted by the fact that world's fastest man Noah Lyles went off script to state that quote-unquote, there ain't no flags in the NBA. Lyles would later clarify his statement, stating, To be honest, I truly think the NBA is the best, that was never the doubt, but there is a level of not understanding the two sides of sports. There's the national side and there's the world side, and you can't have the world championship title without facing the rest of the world. But if Lyles thinks the NBA is the best league in the world, he shouldn't have a problem with the label of world champion. But I understand his point. It's why he brought this up in the first place that I'm curious about. He wasn't even asked anything remotely related to the NBA, and the timing of the statement coming directly after two top players on an NBA champion were non-American for probably the first time ever made it seem like Lyles was going out of his way to take shots at the most recent world champs. I mean, think about this. In the same year as the greatest European player ever, cementing his status as such by winning the title, the comments from Lyles could have easily been due to Nikola getting his first chip. Jokic had Americans shook after winning the title so much, to the point where they stopped implying the NBA was the best league on the planet. A tweet that defines the misunderstanding from fans regarding Jokic's entire aura states, Love his game, love him as a player. This whole I don't even care about basketball stuff is miserable to keep hearing about as a fan who devotes all my free time towards it. First of all, if you're devoting all your free time to something that makes you miserable, it's time to find a new hobby, bud. Second of all, if you think Jokic actually doesn't care about basketball, you're either ignorant or uninformed. Sure, he was genuinely disappointed when he found out he had to stay for a parade, 
but saying he doesn't like his job and that nothing's changed for him after winning the championship is a part of his goof. Also, it's clear that Jokic values his off time. Just because someone likes to joke around at their job and values their off time, it doesn't mean they don't care about what they do professionally. It especially doesn't mean that when said employee becomes the most valuable at his or her company. Jokic needs to be judged for what he does on the court, and as for his trolls off of it, they can't be taken too serious by diehard fans who were brought up with a Kobe Bryant-esque mentality. I mean, take it from me, Kobe is the reason I watch basketball, and I'm still able to appreciate Jokic both on and off the court. Everyone has their own approach, and things aren't so black and white as well. A player can have a Kobe love what you do mentality, a Jokic laid back goof around type mentality, or anything in between, and still have a ton of success. One or the other doesn't equal a failure or success. One or the other are far from the only mental approaches to the business of the NBA. The game is one between the four lines, and whatever works for a player is the mindset they need to embrace. So for Kobe, the hard work never felt like work because it was what he was passionate about, a convenience to say the very least. Kobe's mindset inspired not just sports culture, but the entirety of pop culture. It led him to win five NBA championships and two finals MVPs, plus become a bona fide top five to ten player ever. For Jokic, the hard work feels just like that, an absolute grind. Something we should learn isn't necessarily a bad thing as North Americans. Because through a willingness to stay 100% focused when completing his business on the court without taking the extracurricular side of the sport too serious, that's been a formula which has made Joker widely regarded as the best basketball player on the surface of planet Earth. Well, widely regarded to everyone except for ESPN whose panel of experts still have Giannis over him in their latest player rankings, in addition to a non-American persona, which is nothing like the previous four finals MVPs and before him, as I said, Jokic not being an explosive season. jumper or a flashy dribbler makes him an all-around unorthodox NBA superstar. But how can you not appreciate a center letting the ball roll to save time, then crossing half court off the dribble, using a screen like a point guard, and casually pulling up in traffic from distance? Fans have found a way. I guess Jokic doesn't like basketball so much he decided to change the game entirely. And that's quintessentially what this playmaking sharpshooter at the center position has done. For decades to come, you can expect having the passing IQ, handle, and motor skill like the 2023 Finals MVP to be a necessity for big men. You saw it in the last generation with Dirk's influence, whose archetype has been multiplied with the likes of Carl Anthony Towns, Laurie Markkinen, Davis Bertans, Chris Stapps Porzingis, among many others, of course, including Jokic. Now with all the success Nikola's had and has yet to have, expect his all-around skill set to make playmaking and shooting at the big man position the norm for every five man across the game. Jokic's ability to see over the top of the defense to either make plays for others or beast his way to the hoop in the post will have its own density of innovation. In terms of off the court, the Western world has yet to fully come to terms with Jokic's go-against-the-grain, nose-to-the-grindstone way of going about things for a highly paid athlete. We all expect a fairy tale persona to be attached to our favorite athlete, but the inspiration we need is right in front of us when it comes to Jokic. What you see is what you get with Nikola. But I ask you guys, shouldn't that just make him more relatable? Many don't see it like that, but I digress. Commenter shout out for today goes to Dawson Garvey, who says the best part about Darko Ryakovich's system is no more iso ball. For your chance at a shout out, plus a free NBA jersey or shoe, subscribe to this channel right now, follow at DFlowHoops on Instagram and Twitter, plus answer the following question down below in the comments. To compete for a top five position on the Speaks board, question is on your screen. This was your boy DFlow, and peace.